Secrets of the Pink Kush. Growing Cannabis, How to Cure and Prevent Powdery Mildew by Billy Budd, William H. Bradshaw. The information in this video and or transcript can be found in my book, Secrets of the Pink Kush by William H. Bradshaw, and is available in hard copy or ebook on Amazon.com. Please be advised that the book may be banned from some bookstores in some countries due to the many secrets and or content revealed in this three-volume textbook for advanced students. This video describes general proceeds for preventing and actually curing powdery mildew. What is powdery mildew? Powdery mildew is a mildew that forms on plants when a specific fungus spores land on the land and the fungus is allowed to thrive under its desired conditions. It will decrease the health of your plant and it will result in lower yields and mildew smell on the buds. This may be harmful to your lungs, so I recommend that you do not smoke cannabis that has, been, that has powdery mildew or any other adulterants or issues for that matter. How do I identify powdery mildew? You will see white spots on the leaves. You may think that some of the ceiling fell onto your plants or somebody spilled some white powder or perhaps paint on them. If it does not rub off, then it is probably powdery mildew. If it is only on the underside of the leaves, then it is downy mildew. An ounce of prevention. Ensure that your plants do not touch each other. This helps prevent the spread of diseases and bugs. This is a generally good practice. <clears throat> Read my book and see other videos for best practices and my other videos. Keep your humidity below 70% relative humidity. High humidity is one of the main ingredients of powdery mildew. Keep a moderate airflow on all parts of the plants at all times. The fans should be hitting all parts of the plants at, at some point in time. This prevents the mildew from, for, from settling on the leaves and multiplying, or well, the fungus actually. Ensure that you have adequate lighting and in the correct spectrum. This means that metal halide lights that are close enough so the plant receives enough lumens. Your plant needs enough light such that the mildew cannot form. Keep your plant's pH balanced correctly for that particular phase of growth. Start at about 6.5 when they're young and work down to 6.2 during the vegetative uh, stage. Go from 6.2 to about 5.5 during the flowering process. If you have a high humidity, no airflow, and low lighting, then expect powdery mildew, as this is the exact recipe for powdery mildew. A pound of cure. In the good old days, growers would employ sulfur burners in order to control powdery mildew. This did not, however, cure the disease. It merely helped to control it. In order to cure powdery mildew, you need to apply a bacteria which will kill the mildew, or you can pH balance the plant up into an alkaline condition. Bacterial remedy. RO rice water. Boil some rice. Keep the water from the runoff and let it sit for a few days until the bacteria forms in the rice water. Mix some water, not too much and make sure the temperature is not, not too either hot or too cold and spray your plants with it while the lights are off. Alkaline approach. Milk. Mix a solution of water and milk in about a 12 to 1 ratio. So that's 12 parts of water to one part of milk. Ensure that it is well mixed and then apply it to the plants when the lights are off. Never spray with lights on. Clear the solution from the leaves the next day when the lights are off. Clearing is the process of, of spraying the plants with pure water to ensure that the previous application has been removed from the leaves so they can breathe properly. Remember that plants breathe through their stomata in their leaves. You must keep the leaves clean and free from debris, dust, solution, etc. Only water is permitted and it should, it should be exposed to light or it will magnify and burn the leaves like a magnifying glass. Baking soda. You can also use the cure by pH balancing your plants correctly. Use a higher alkaline solution of some kind like baking soda. Mix one gallon of water, one teaspoon of baking soda, one tablespoon of liquid soap detergent, Preferably, two tablespoons of vegetable oil like canola oil. Mix well, spray when the lights are off. The cure for the powdery mildew was discovered in 1999 by Brazilian re scientific agricultural researcher Wagner Bietial. Old school goers may not be aware of this cure as if they have not updated their knowledge, which is very important to read new books like Secrets of the Pink Kush so you can update your knowledge. Correct your environment as previously described and apply your preferred solution. Keep applying the solution and then alternate with a clear. Repeat, it, repeat this three times until the powdery mildew is eliminated. The finished product tells your grow story. The finished product, the bud, will tell your entire story of your grow. You can tell from the smell, visual inspection, taste, and reaction if you had spider mites, premature flipping, premature chopping, bud rot, or powdery mildew. You can smell the mildew from the buds and you will see the tiny white powdery spots unless the trim job is excessively tight. Healing your plants. It is very important to know that you cannot fix a plant once it has been flipped from the vegetative to the flowering stage. If your plant is still in the vegeta vegetative stage, then it can be fixed regardless of problem. This, this is, however, not true after a plant develops pistils and begins the flowering stage. Once a plant is flipped, it enters the bloom and senescence cycle, and it becomes impossible to correct many conditions. 
If that is the case, then you must attempt to control the disease with sulfur in the case of powdery mildew. Make sure the plant has no issues and is in good health with appropriate levels of nitrogen. And check the, the leaf color for that particular strain. Has no powdery mildew, other diseases, etc. before you flip. Healing yourself. It should be well noted that humans and plants share 50% of the same DNA. Having said this, it is important that we keep our bodies in pH balance as well. Remember that cancer cannot thrive in an alkaline environment. Read Secrets of the Pink Kush for this important health aspect as well as advice on growing and breeding marijuana. Read Secrets of the Pink Kush for help on growing and breeding cannabis. It includes the exact procedures for creating super strains such as F1 hybrids, polyploids like Pink Kush, OG Kush, Girl Scout Cookie, Rockstar, etc., and on how to grow high-quality medical-grade marijuana using best practices. It also has solutions to the many problems encountered during the cultivation of cannabis, like powdery mildew. The book not only contains advanced information about breeding and growing cannabis, but also information on many other topics about nature and humans, in particular touch blood humans. And that, that information cannot be found in any other books anywhere else in the world. Thank you for your interest in the topic. The credits are Secrets of the Pink Kush by William H. Bradshaw and Wagner Betiel, a Brazilian agricultural researcher.